lamas have been now working uh, very hard to bring the dharma to the uh, west and um, looks like in all kind of uh, situations to do something good is always uh, challenging and if we are not able to confront that challenge then there won't be any uh, success and when things are running smoothly then we just t uh, take it for granted I guess for all this uh, 30 years or so almost 20 something years right so the building was there and looks like everything everyone was able to uh, come there walk in and out and people just thought it is there and it is up to you whether uh, we want to come uh, here to practice or not but then when the situation uh, changes so then you know that how precious it is uh, the place because without having this uh, place then uh, we will not be able to provide the constant support, the Dharma support. I sometimes say that it's like a Dharma outlet. <laughs> so, if you want to keep the Dharma outlet open, uh, if you want to use the Dharma product, right, high standard <laughs> or branded Dharma, then you must have the uh, Dharma outlet, otherwise you cannot just buy there out in the street. So that's one reason. And another reason, as uh, Kombo was saying, that this place had been blessed by our late holiness, uh, and then many uh, realized uh, masters. And uh, as you all know, that Jetanma have put many, like many years, her effort to uh, keep this place uh, running, providing Dharma. So there, uh, in our traditional teaching is saying that, uh, what's it called now, a person blessing the uh, place. So all those, uh, uh, like when Guru Rinpoche was not practicing in uh, the uh, Maratika cave, so it wasn't a, a sacred place. But when Guru Rinpoche went there and uh, did the practices and have all the signs of accomplishment, so the practice, uh, that place became sacred. So likewise, uh, when uh, the, all those enlightened beings do these practices and uh, uh, give all these uh, empowerments, I was told, uh, like Rinchen Terze, Kama, Namche. So all these great empowerments happened in this place. So it is like the uh, master blessing the place. So when all these uh, masters have blessed the place, so that blessing remains there. And now if we are the follower of those uh, masters, so now what we do is now the place is uh, blessing the person. So you have the person blessing the place and place blessing the person. So uh, like, uh, likewise, then to receive this uh, blessing the, uh, in, uh, on, not only in this uh, generation, so we uh, have to think about like generation after generation, uh, like all this uh, Dharma activities and going on. Once I was talking with uh, Jetru Rinpoche and he said that for two generations he have already planned Tashi Choling, so he's happy for the next two generations. So after that he's, he says he doesn't care whatever happens will happen. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Jetru Rinpoche has planned for two generations and I guess we too have to plan for at least two generations, right? So likewise, to keep this, uh, the place uh, 
uh, open is very important. It's very important because next time I can come here and give the teachings. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you.